which means, praise the Lord, he has the ability to create an atmosphere by what he says. And because we have such power in our mouth, praise the Lord, God holds us accountable, amen, to be careful what we say and how we use it, amen? Amen. The Bible declares that death and life are in the power of the tongue. Yeah. The Bible says that they that love it will eat the fruit of it. So you eat the fruit of what comes out of your mouth. Amen. Sometimes we say things and we act, and act curses against ourselves. Mm -hmm. We say things such, I'm so broke that I can't pay attention. Well, Amen. Amen. That's true. Uh, we say things, praise the Lord, I, I, I wish God would kill me. I, I, I wish I was dead, praise the Lord. I hate you. I hate myself. You see, when we use strong words and terms like that, we are actually, amen, speaking curses, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And there are such things in the spirit realm, such as strong men. Somebody say strong men. Strong, strong men. men. Strong men, praise the Lord, their uh, job is to enact curses that are spoken. Praise the Lord. Amen. And so what we speak loosely with our mouths, can be our own undoing. So number one, amen, we have to be careful what we say, praise the Lord, because we were created in God's image, and God gave us dominion over everything over this earth. Amen. So everything, praise the Lord, under our dominion is affected by the words of our mouth. Amen. David said, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be accepted in thy sight. Lord, you are my strength and my redeemer. Then number two, we said that the word that person speak give insight to the condition of their heart. Amen. A good man out of the good treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is good. An evil man out of the evil treasure of his heart bringeth forth that which is evil. For the, of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaketh. That's St. Luke 6 chapter, verse 45. So we understand, praise the Lord, that your mouth speaks, amen, what is in your heart. Amen. Praise the Lord. If, if, if you get mad and cuss me out, don't come back later and lie and say, well, I didn't mean it. Yes, you did. You meant it. Just say, I'm sorry for cussing you out. Amen. I hope that's not the, the same way, praise the Lord. I hope you are delivered from that, praise the Lord. Don't walk around talking about, I didn't mean, yes you did. You meant exactly what you said. Because out of the abundance of the heart, your mouth speaking. Amen. Y'all quiet tonight. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It is important, amen, praise the Lord, to make sure, amen, that our heart is right so that our mouth and our tongue, praise the Lord, uh, can line up. Let me, let me help you understand. Sins of the heart can cause the God of heaven to be silenced toward us. Somebody get me Psalm 66 and verse 18. Psalm 66 and verse 18. The heart iniquity. Listen to what God's word says. He says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, in my heart, the Lord, the Lord will not hear me. If I regard or keep or harbor iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Amen. So it makes no sense to be running around all over the place hollering and screaming and calling on God if you have not first dealt with your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. And we can tell the condition of your heart by the things that come out your mouth. Amen. We know exactly what you're thinking about by what you say out of your mouth all the time. Amen. If foolishness is, the, is, is always coming out of your mouth, then that means there's foolishness in your heart all the time. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Praise Lord. If lies come out of your mouth, that means there's lies in your heart. Amen. 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 If you're always jealous of somebody, you always you can never celebrate somebody that's doing good. You always got to bring them down. Amen. That means you have a jealousy problem in your heart. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, you don't have to be a psychiatrist or a psychologist, amen, to be able to know what is in a person's heart and how they feel about you. Just let them talk. Amen. You let a person talk, and after a while, all the nice, smooth stuff that they say will finally go, and what's real will come out. Because God has placed it in us that our lips have to reveal what's in our heart. We can talk. 
strange for a little while, but after a while, our lips will eventually reveal what's in our heart. For the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. The mouth speaks. Amen. We must be clear about that, praise the Lord. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. So he says, if I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord uh, will not hear me. And then number three, we said, you can really tell if a man is really saved by what he lets come out of his mouth. A lot of times people pray the Lord saying, you can't judge me. Amen. How can you say that I'm saved? You, 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 know, you just use four letters. You know. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Lie. Didn't do what was right. Amen. Amen. Give me James 1 and verse 26. James 1 and verse 26. If any man, if any man among you, among you seem to be religious. Now he, he hadn't even went to the people of the world. He deals with, praise the Lord, among you. Why? Because many times Satan will try to camouflage himself amongst the righteous. And so he says, this is how you can spot a counterfeit. Praise the Lord. This is how you can spot somebody that's not real. This is one of the ways. He says, what? If any man among you seems to be religious, seems to be seem like he got it all together. And bridled not his tongue. And cannot control his tongue. But deceiveth his own heart. He deceiveth his own heart. This man religion is vain. Some people can't hold water. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. They can't wait to hear something so they can tell somebody else. Amen. You tell them, and now listen, I, I need to share this with you, but I'm sharing it with you in confidence. Can you please keep it? Praise the Lord. And you share it with somebody else in the next verse and the next verse. And we say on the guise of, well, you know, I, I'm telling you, Travis, because of, you know, uh, we need to pray about this matter. Amen. And you throw prayer in there as a guide. Y'all ain't here. You really ain't trying to pray for you praying on that person. You, that's just your way. Say, so, well, if I uh, say we're praying about it, then I can kind of share. So I get the gossip under the guise of prayer. Amen. I wanted to deal with that last phrase. Hallelujah. When it says that a man's lips speak no guile. What is guile? <laughs> Ma'am? Just Saying things that you don't believe. Deception. Deceit. I really don't like you like that. Mm -hmm. But I come to you. Praise the Lord, man. Hey, boy, you doing, man? God bless That's guy. That's not real. Child, I just love that hat you got on. You really don't. You use your tongue to flatter somebody. The world has learned that using flattery, amen, gets you in it. Because you know people like to be flattered. You like to be told how wonderful you are. Y'all know I'm telling the truth. You, you, like, you the world's greatest. Make you feel good. Pat your own stuff. Amen. But the Bible says that God tells us, amen, that if we want to have a quality of life and a length of life, that we should not be godless. We should not speak falsely. Amen. We should be truthful with our speech. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Sometimes, praise the Lord, we don't tell the truth. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And we tell a lie. Mm -hmm. Now listen to me, beloved. I'm never advocating that you should tell a lie. And nor am I ever advocating that you should always tell your business. Your business is your business. Amen. But there's a difference between concealing a matter and then being full of guile. Mm -hmm. People that usually use a guileish tongue, amen, they're being deceitful because they have an anger. Mm -hmm. They're trying to get something from you. Or trying to get 
uh, favors from you by using their mouth. Yes. Amen. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Amen. Hallelujah. I want you to understand that we are supposed to tell the truth. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. Let me show you how bad God hates a lie. Give me Revelation 21 and verse 8. Revelation 21 and verse 8. But the fearful. But the fearful. And unbelieving. And unbelieving. And the abominable. The abominable. And murderers. And murderers. And whoremongers. And whoremongers. And sorcerers. And sorcerers. And idolaters. Idolaters. And all liars. Some liars. And all liars. White liars. All liars. Black liars. All oh, All lies matter. Amen. Amen. All liars, what? Shall have their part in the lake. What? Which burneth with fire. Come on. And brimstone. And brimstone. Which is the second day. So, we run around here talking about homosexuality and lesbianism, how much is an abomination. And it is. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. It is. It's, it's wrong. But the same ones that are running, talking about that, they're liars. Yep. Yep. And God says, it is an abomination to be a liar. Amen. Amen. Are y'all hearing me tonight? Yes. You deceitful person with your words. I don't know whether to believe what you say or not because I have to take everything that you say with a word. You lie about stuff that you have no business lying about. Amen. You lie just because the sun came up yes. this morning. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Amen. I had a friend of mine that I grew up with, praise the Lord. We grew up in the same church. And, and we, uh, we were tight and we were close, but he had one problem. He just lied. Yes. Now, now I, I'm able to say lie now, but growing up as a child, they would smack you for saying the word lie. Amen. And just to say, even right now, sometimes when I say lie, I kind of like, amen. I'm just saying it for the sake of clarification. And if I wasn't raised like I was, amen. Praise the Lord. To tell a man that he lied, that was just. It was fight for to tell somebody that they lied. Amen. Because see, all a man has is his word. Yeah. Right. There's a saying that your word is your word. Uh -huh. So when you say you something, praise God, all you have at the end of the day is what you say. Amen. But we find out that men and women are liars. That's why whenever we go and sign, amen, go get a car. Yeah. Praise the Lord. They lend us money. We got to sign something. Why we got to sign? Because people lie. Yeah. Ain't that right? Amen. When, you, when, when, when you go to court and stand up there, amen, they, make, they take out the Bible and, and put your hand on the Bible and say, do you swear? I don't like to swear on the Bible. Well, then do you affirm? Which is the same thing. It's just a different word. Do you do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Why do they do that? Because people lie. Whenever, whenever a company promises you something, you always tell them, Y'all remember MCI? Mm -hmm. Remember MCI? That was a phone company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And their famous saying was, put it in writing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why? Because people don't, they're not honest. Yeah. They'll promise you something and on the end it's deceptive. They promise to give you this, that, and that, but they don't tell you about the other stuff that come along with it that you be in charge for. Yeah. They're just trying to get that sale, get that sale. They lie. When you tell your manager somebody like that, you lie. Amen. That's what you did. You didn't tell them the complete truth of about a matter. So this is what I got. This is yeah. This is it. I'm trying to close. You know, I'm trying to close this deal. Amen. Amen. And then five months down the road, what is this extra charge you you charge me? You said, well, it, it, that just comes along. Well, how come you didn't tell me that at the time? Amen. Amen. Well, the truth of the matter is, I didn't tell you that because I knew if I told you then, I might not get the sale. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Revelation 21 and 27. And there shall in no wise enter. What? Into anything that defileth. Ain't nothing going in the new, in the new Jerusalem that defileth. Neither whatsoever work of abomination. That works abomination. Or maketh a lie. Or make a lie. But they which are written in the Lamb's book of life. Praise God. So that goes to tell you, praise the Lord, that when a person can lie, 
Their name may not be in the book of life. That's kind of deep. Praise the Lord. Amen. You can just dealt one right on off. Just lie. Don't even bad eye. Amen. Amen. You, 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 you are abominable to the Lord. You be Proverbs 616, I believe it is.
You understand what I'm saying? They're going to do it until they start realizing how tangled up it is and how much it's going to cost them and going to put them out. And so it, it, so in the middle of what they said they were going to they change. Well, see, that's not a righteous person. They didn't honor their word. But a righteous man or a righteous woman swears to their own hurt. That means they do what they say they're going to do. Even if, one thing about my, my pastor, Bishop Cobb, if I could ever get him to say he was going to do something, it was a done deal. If I ever, if I could just, if I ever, if I could ever just, you know, you know, unless I want to go somewhere, we want to go to Florida, we want to go somewhere, if I could just ever get to say we were going, you know what? We gone. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If, 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 I, if we were going somewhere and I wanted him to come pick me up, and maybe it wasn't just in his way to come get me, and I could just get him to say, Will you come get me? Yeah, I come. Well, I already knew he was in the back. He, yeah. he was somebody that if he said he was going to do something, you didn't have to look and wonder if he was going to do it. Amen. He did what he said he was going to do. Do you know, as a believer, that's a good name to have? Amen. That's a great name to have that when you say, let me tell you something, when you start saying you do, you're going to do stuff and you don't do them, after a while, your word gets stinky. Amen. Amen. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's a bad name to have for somebody to name the name of Christ. Amen. Say it back. Amen. It's a bad name, praise God, to say I'm going to do something and I don't do it. Because Amen. then you are branded as a liar. Amen. Well, God know your heart. Yeah, God know your heart, but I know your mouth. Amen. Your mouth got a lie. Amen. Amen, Amen. 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 Zion. Amen. Praise God. Okay, so in that instance, um, doesn't it put it on us that if we can't do it,
Hallelujah. Don't over talk yourself. I don't care who you're trying to impress. I don't care who you're trying to. It's better to under talk yourself than to over talk yourself. Now that's good teaching. Hallelujah. It's better, it's better to say amen, praise the Lord, what you know you can do, and a little bit less than to say I'm going to do all such and such and such, and then don't wind up doing it. Amen. Keep reading. Be not rash with your mouth. And let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Don't let your heart be hasty. Lord, if you bring me out, I'm going to praise you every time I go to the church. Amen. <laughs> Lord, if you heal my body every time I go to church, I'm going to give God praise. I'm going to do it. I'm going to tell it. God didn't tell you to do that. Amen. God didn't make that a condition of your healing. Amen. You said that with your mouth. Amen. Lord, if you just get me out of this one, Lord, I'm going to be at church every Sunday. <laughs> you see, we don't look at stuff like that. Because we humans. We subject to tell big films. Hallelujah. And because we don't believe in the validity of a man's word, many times, we equate man to God. Uh -huh. We think that God is like us. Yes. So when we say something, Mother, and we don't mean it, we think that God is the same way. If he says something, he don't mean he's going to let you get by. But every word that come out of your mouth, God records. Amen. You, ever, you ever call a business and they say, that this call may be recorded. Uh -huh. yeah. Never forget, I called, what was it? I called a bill company. Great Lord, I called a bill company. And discussed with them paying the bill, the terms of paying the bill. And the lady told me exactly how much I needed to pay and broke it down to me so it made sense. I wrote it down. The only thing I didn't write down was her name. <laughs> and I called back with the payment. And of course, you know, the, the way the phone rotates, it, it got to somebody else. Yeah. And so they said, okay, well, we'll go, we'll hook you up with the payment. So I got ready to make payment. And, and, and they had added 60 more dollars than what I owed to pay. I said, no, that is not what I'm supposed to pay. And the lady said, this lady said that this is what I said. That is not what I said that I was going to pay. I said that well, I said, listen, just, just send me back to the department. And so they sent me back, and, and they said, no, sir, I got it written right here. This is what she had transposed the numbers with that. This is what this is what I said that you this is what we agreed. I said, no, ma'am. And so, and then all of a sudden she said, you will have to pay this or thus and such. And after a while, the phone got dead. And I couldn't hear nobody. I said, oh no, let me call back. And I called back, beloved. When I called back, I got their manager. You know, everybody gonna be the manager to handle it. Yeah. And I just, I said, listen, because you got to go through the whole spirit. You got to get your social security number and this number and that number. I don't know. I ought to be a safe place. Got all the numbers I have to memorize down there. <laughs> yeah. and, so, and, 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 and so finally, I told him, I said, and this is the fourth time. I, he said, we got a record of every time you call. He said, but guess what? He said. What we'll do, we'll play the recording back. Because, I mean, he was trying to tell me, well, the lady got it, because in her notes, she had transferred, and they was getting ready to up, they were going up. He said, but we got the, we got the telephone recorded, recorded, and we're going to play it back. And, and if, if what you say is true, then we'll go ahead and, and you know, honor what we said to you. Okay, I'm sitting there, I said, now, Lord, you know. <laughs> because, see, I'm not on the other end. I don't know what they can do. They might can re re uh, erase them recordings stuff. I don't know. You know, I'm not on that side. I said, Lord, you know. Obviously, uh, praise the Lord, they must have heard that woman tell me that price. And he said, sir, uh, what happened was she transposed the number. So we're going to honor what you said. I said, thank you, sir. It was recorded. I went through that whole long story to tell you what you said. Is recorded. If you don't make it in heaven, God might let you hear some of them recorded prayers that you made. <laughs> and I'm telling you how, how serious it is. Because see, when you're in 
trouble, you just in pain, and you just want the pain to stop. You want to get out of trouble. So you promising God, you telling God anything he want to hear, just so he'll move on your back. Lord, you got to be in church. Lord, I play double times. <laughs> Amen. Can I deal, can I be honest with you and tell you the truth? A lot of the stuff that you've been making God a promise is never the terms and the conditions of your deliverance. Yeah. The terms and the conditions of your deliverance is that you have faith and believe what He said. Yeah. Yeah. He never attaches it. He just wants you to give Him the glory. That's all. Yeah. But what happens is we. Because we think God is like man, we try to bamboozle him. Amen. And tell him, yeah, negotiate. And try to tell him what we're going to do. Make it more favorable so that he can, you understand, uh, yeah. give us what we need. Uh -huh. And what just what you say that you so, you said you were going to do, he holds you to. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's just like when you put an envelope up there and you said, this is my time. If it ain't 10% of what you made, it is not a tie. Amen. Amen. Don't, don't call it because that's you lying. Yeah. Amen. It's not a tie. A tie is one ten. Yeah. Amen. 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 We got to be honest in yeah. our dealings with God. Because see, this is the thing, just like that lesson on Sunday. If we are honest with God, then we'll be honest with our brothers and sisters. Amen. If I can be honest with the, an entity in the heavens that I cannot see, yeah. I cannot see him. It takes faith to believe and know that he's there. Yeah. But I fear him and I honor him for being God. If I'm that kind of person that fears God on that level, then I'm going to fear how I deal with you because you created in God's image. Yes. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Amen. So if, if, if I won't lie to God, then I won't lie to you. But listen, if you lying to me, then I know you lying to God. Amen. Amen. If you lying to me, your relationship with God stinks. Amen. Telling all these untruths. <laughs> Amen. I got to take everybody to the bar and say, well, I'll be there tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Tomorrow come and she ain't there. No call, no word, no show. Just, just yeah. ain't there. No just no show. Yeah. No, I had a flat tire. No, I, 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 I ran into traffic. No, you know, nothing. Just... Don't show up. Amen. That's a lie. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Finish reading me out there. And let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before God. Don't just utter anything. Children, when you get ready to pray before God, fix your heart. Amen. You know what you're going to say before. Yes. If you knew that you were going to stand before President Obama, you knew tomorrow you had to meet him. First of all, you fix your hair. You have on your, your, you have on your nice stuff. Come on, somebody. Amen. And you will be practicing what you're going to say. <laughs> it ain't going to be like, I'm just, you ain't going to talk to him just like you talk to just one of us. Because he's a dignitary. He, his, his office, his power demands that you deal with him differently than you deal with regular men. That's the same way with God. Amen. God ain't your homeboy. Amen. That's right. He ain't your homie. Amen. Amen. I talk to God just like I talk. Well, you can't. You ain't in that situation. Amen. Amen. And the one man written in the scripture that the Bible said God spoke to him like a man speak to his friend. Mm -hmm. And he had nobody else that he talked to. You can't just be, you know, God is my chum, my homie. It ain't like that. Amen. You have a good relationship, but you got to have some respect and fear for the Lord. Amen. Amen. Does that make sense? Amen. Your God, my homie man, what's up, man? You're my nigga, man. <laughs> God don't hear that stuff. Amen. In an effort to try to get, uh, 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 you know, the generation on our side, we reduce God to the linguistic terms of our day. Amen. He is not that kind of God. Amen. Amen. Dare I say, we need to start sanctifying God more in our hearts. Amen. There need to be some lines that we do not cross. Amen. That's right. There need to be some things that we do not play with. Amen. Amen. While I'm at it, I got to hear this. I don't know why it just come up in my spirit and say, hit it. Some of y'all laugh way too much 
that these boys putting wigs on their heads and playing church. You share it, you laugh. Why are you passing on abominations? Amen. That is an abomination before God. The Bible says, a man shall not put on a woman's garment. Amen. Come on, somebody. Amen. All that do so are an abomination to the Lord. And here you are laughing at it because he is playing church. And we're laughing at the sanctified, holy things of God. And then got the nerve to come before God with our hands lifted Amen. like we are serious before God. Amen. Amen. How are you going to play with the stuff of God and then need a move of God? Amen. 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 Bible said, blessed is the man that condemneth not himself in the things that he allows. Some of this stuff on Facebook is a, is a shame before God and we need to cut it out. Amen. Amen. One man started walking around with a wig on, then you get the other man walking around with a wig on. Everybody, amen. Yeah, amen. All they showing you is that they've been in church all their life, they know what they do, and we like, <laughs> you look at that and laugh and forget to pray. Amen. amen. Got to call me five times and ask, is this the fast day? Amen. But you know, you know how to get on Facebook. Oh, yeah. Amen. No, amen. 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 Church, we got to be more serious yes. about our oh, yeah. God. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen to me. When I pray, I want things to move. Oh, yeah. When I come before God, I want Him to hear and honor what I say. Amen. He ain't going to do it if we run around here playing all the time. Amen. That's right. Got to be serious about this thing. Amen. People come in there to know that God is with them. Oh, yeah. Amen. Not just because we shout, but they know the presence of God is with us. Amen. And if he ain't with us, then we need to examine ourselves. Amen. You ain't got no power for no dead cry prayer. Amen. Jesus. <laughs> Nothing. Praise God. Amen. It didn't even make you cry. It ain't gonna make somebody else cry. <laughs> <laughs> Get up and sing a song your heart ain't in. Amen. If you ain't gonna put your heart in it, you might as well not even do it. That's right. Amen. Say amen. 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 God's on our heart. Amen. Yeah? Yeah, amen. Praise team, we come up here and put y'all in. Amen. amen. Drag, don't drag up here and go, oh, gee, what we don't say today. Oh, no, 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 put your heart in. Amen. You serving in God's house, how you serve is just as important as the fact that you do serve. Right. Amen. And you can't use your tongue slippantly and foolishly. All week long. Amen. And then expect to use that same tongue to bless people. Amen. Amen. Bitter and sweet water do not come out of the same fountain. Amen. 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 Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Right. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. That's, that, 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 that's, that's a daily job. Because it's so easy for something to come out that should not come out. Amen. You just look at that cussing. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Yeah. But it's, it, it, it's deeper than that. Amen. It's praying. How I pray. How I approach God. How I deal with you. How I deal with my children. Now listen. I believe in making my children mine. We need to, we, we need to make them mine. But sometimes we can be too harsh in the way we deal with it. Amen. That's just as bad. Amen. So we have to ask God, Lord, give me grace and give me patience. Yes. That don't mean he ain't going to get it if he mess up. Amen. But you got to have grace. Amen. How, how I speak to somebody that's getting on my ever-loving last nerve. Saints used to have more grace. It used to take more to get a saint angry. Now church folk go from zero to 100 like that. Talking about I'm keeping it real. No, you need to go back to the altar. Amen. Don't we need to go back to the altar? Amen. Your attitude can just go up like that. You can run. <laughs> Bipolar Christian. Bipolar. You don't know which one you're going to be. Today, praise the Lord. I'm blessed and highly favored. God bless you, child of God. Woman of God, man of God. Hallelujah. And in tomorrow. Amen. <laughs> Don't even know it's the same person. 
It ain't of God. God's people is consistent. So what that means is you don't need to be acting all over the top. If you know that's not how it really is. If you don't act over the top, then folk won't expect you to be a certain way. Be real. Because somebody say, be real. Be real. That's all. When you give God praise, be real. If the spirit hits you and you want to shout, shout. Hallelujah. If the music sounds good and you want to dance, dance. It didn't, say, it didn't say the Spirit had to hit you for you to dance. That's right. Did it? It said come before us present with singing and dancing. Amen. But where we mess up at is when God ain't doing all of that. We, <laughs> God didn't do all that. That's you. Amen. That's flesh. Amen. That ain't real. Amen. And you put too much fake in it. Yeah. Then people don't know the real when the real come in. Amen. Can I say something else? I'm, I'm, I'm really... I'm really we got to be careful that we don't let counterfeit spirits come in and take over the church. Amen. Because a counterfeit spirit will come in and act just, try to act just like the real thing. Yeah. And if you accept a counterfeit spirit, what will end up happening is this. Praise the Lord. People will be fooled and will not know the real. Amen. I want you to understand that. Hallelujah. Yes. So when you know something that's counterfeit, don't identify as being real. Amen. Praise God. Amen. The Bible says that when Paul was walking, him and Silas, I believe it was, the Bible said that there was a girl that had a spirit of divination that followed behind her. And she began to speak. She spoke the truth. Amen. Yes, she, did. she said, these men are the men that show us the way to salvation. These are the men of God. These are the men of the most high God. Paul got annoyed with her. The Bible says Paul being grieved turned to her and cast that thing out of her. Uh -huh. Now why? Why would he do it? Because what happens is a false spirit will try to connect with a real spirit amen. to hide in the group so that it can affect those, amen, that are unsuspecting. Yeah, because in the church, you got sheep and you got lambs. Yeah, Come on, somebody. Amen. You got wheat and you got tech. And so an a immature person, which is a lamb, praise the Lord, don't know the difference. Y'all ain't here. Yeah. Have not learned how to exercise their spirit. So they went, that must be God. That must, that must be God. Uh -huh. Amen. Yeah. So then they get confused. And then when the devil make a fool out of them, then they don't want to believe in nothing. Amen. Amen. So you got to be real. If God don't speak in tongues through you, keep your mouth shut. Amen. Huh? Amen. Give God no false tongue. Amen. Crack a jack, crack a jack, crack a jack. Don't do that. Amen. Be real. Amen. Come on, Zion. Amen. If God give you a word of prophecy, tell it like it is. Amen. And then when God finish, shut up. Amen. I'm teaching y'all something. Amen. Huh? Amen. You see, it can get so, you can get so easy that you can cross over into the flesh and don't even know it. You don't got in the flesh. Yeah, you up there dancing and shouting and giving God the praise. And it's good. The Spirit of God's moving. But now, but now it, it, it's dying down. It's time to move on to something else. Yeah, it's time to move on to something else. And you still, oh, Jesus. <laughs> we done moved on. We ready to do something different. You still, <laughs> you done crossed over into the flesh. Amen. The Bible said the spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet. God ain't going to give you no spirit to go over the one that God has set in charge. Amen. Y'all understand what I'm telling yes. you now? If you're going over who God set in charge, your spirit is off. Amen. That's right. We have to be tamed to follow the spirit of God. Amen. God don't work in confusion. God is not the author of confusion. Amen. Everything is just like I would never come to your house, Travis. It, even though I know the chair don't belong on the table. <laughs> I, I, I know it don't belong on the table. But I don't know why you got the chair on the table. <laughs> I'm just walking in thinking that it's out of order. So I'm just going to go through. You might be getting ready to mop the floor. Amen. Are you understanding what I'm Amen. telling you? Amen. When we humble, you're sensitive to the spirit and to the move of God. Amen. 
if, 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 y'all give me two more minutes, I'm, 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 I'm going to come in. I ain't going to lie, I'm going to be done. <laughs> praise the Lord. If, praise the Lord, the preacher's up preaching, and all of a sudden you break out into some kind of tongue, and it's louder than him, it's out. It's out of order. Because God don't interrupt God. That's right. Amen. That's right. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. God don't interrupt God. God is a God of order. Amen. You can tell if somebody is rolling all over the floor and look like they're out of control. Just rolling, 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 rolling. And a man of God say, Amen. <laughs> Praise the Lord, Saint John. Whatever you in, uh -huh. if it's the right one, you're uh -huh. supposed to come up out of it. That's right. And move forward. Amen. I mean, that's you trying to control. I'm supposed to control. That's right. The Bible says, let the elder that rule it well. Yeah. Be kind of worthy. Do you supposed to be rude? That's right. And if you got a spirit that don't like to be rude, that's the wrong one. Amen. Right. The right one, humble yourself. Yes. Y'all hear me tonight? Amen. 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 So let's watch our mouth. Amen. Let's make sure we're saying what is right, Amen. what is honest, and what is true. Amen. Amen. And I believe that when we speak to God, God will honor us. Amen. 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 Any more questions? Hallelujah. Thank you. May God bless you.